this video we're going to show you a chromatic aster species colony, a very young colony in this fortress formicarium. They are really, really growing fast, which is typical for this genus. And I wanted to show you some really good, interesting video clips of them to kind of give you an idea of what it would be like to keep them as pets. One of the really neat things about watching chromatic aster inside their habitats is when they have the ability to uh, have a rough surface as a wall and a ceiling, they actually hang things. So I had heard about this many, many years ago. I was talking with someone who had been studying uh, how ants, some species of ants, will hang uh, larvae from uh, rough surfaces using the hairs on the larvae. And I had never seen it until this uh, particular colony. I had a really good uh, picture of it not long ago. But um, so here you can see their activity upside down. Um, I didn't see as much of it going on right here. Uh, but it is something that's pretty interesting. They're kind of like interior decorators. And they've got so many eggs to tend to. Uh, maybe once all these eggs here, these are new eggs the queen just laid recently nice and shiny and round um, <laughs> and they have after that they piled them all into a single pile like you see here it's a lot of work for these workers this is a very active uh, species a very active colony they're fun to watch they really are uh, so you know when the nuptial flights happen in the spring and fall mainly here in the US. I've also found them in the in the summertime as well occasionally. Um, it's just a really interesting species to keep because of their growth weight rate and the activity level. You can see there's sh they have these heart-shaped gasters and they wiggle them around. You'll see that here in a little bit. They're really uh, fun to watch close up. These are the kind of ants I would definitely recommend getting a decent camera for. It, the cell phone cameras these days probably would be sufficient with some sort of stand, but uh, getting up close and seeing the activity level inside the colony is really neat. Um, they are attractive looking ants with that uh, gaster, the shape of the gaster. They have a couple spines on, on parts of their body and they're really um, interesting to watch. They have a kind of a charm to them. One thing that's important when feeding these ants, they are small, and also small and tiny ants especially, is to give them only just a little bit of honey. This is honey water. Uh, you can also feed them other liquids, of course, but whenever you're feeding them liquids of any kind, you want just, just little tiny drops. What I do is take a toothpick or something very fine with a point and dip it and then drag it around their feeding dish a few times just to have just the tiniest amounts for them to uh, walk up to and they'll be braver in that way and they'll also stay safer so you, you don't want to see bunches of them drowning in the big piles of liquids that you're feeding them um, that's that's bad so I, I found that this really helps keep them safe there you can see their gasters they do this a lot uh, feeding communicating not really sure what it means it's very interesting and 
Here they have taken uh, parts of a fruit fly inside their nest. And this is another really cool thing about them is they're really clean because they break up their pieces of food so in such small pieces that they can easily take it out of the nest. Um, not very often do you ever have this stuff left inside the nest. They, they will dispose of it out in their foraging area. Makes it very easy to clean behind them. You do have to clean them regularly though because clean the habitat regularly because there is such fine pieces you can't see as well. Thank you.